y'all let me tell y'all what just happened so i went running right and i like to run outside because in my opinion it's just different running outside than running on the treadmill i hate running on the treadmill so because i like to sprint when i want i don't feel like clicking a button a million times just to sprint on the treadmill that's my opinion though so y'all tell me why i'm making sure i get in the light tell me why i'm running down the street right this is the second time this happened now i like running um outside i mean not outside but i like running at night okay because it's peaceful nobody's outside nobody's in my way i can run as fast as i can because the trail the way that i take not a trail but the way that i take um during the day a lot of people be outside i can see why it's by the water so i understand y'all this is the second night this has happened where i run down the street and the street light flickers and i'm like it, it flickered the exact same way it flickered yesterday mind you this street light don't ever do that ever like don't nothing be wrong with it so i had this feeling in my stomach and i know it's the gift of discernment and i was like god this is the second time now i don't i don't do coincidences or whatever so talk to me let me know something if i need to you know warn me do what you need to do y'all i couldn't even i walked past the street like i couldn't even get halfway down the street he said turn around and it was loud turn around i said yes sir <laughs> what dad said go so i turned around and when i turned around i looked at the light the light flickered again but it got bright it got super bright and i saw the word confirmation like like i first of all i heard him and he was just confirming like yes that was me you heard me because i don't care how many times you hear god if you're like me i get excited every single time when i hear him audibly okay I hear like I get excited every single time so y'all I keep walking and I'm now I'm going to the house because he's instructing me to go back home so I'm like okay he's like no more running outside no more running at night I can run in the daytime but no more running at night and I was like okay God whatever you say I'll do now when I go running I put one of these in between the middle of my knuckles because what's up <laughs> like i'm always aware of my surroundings so i'm not scared of you run up if you want to you can get shame right on your side i don't care done it before i'll do it again so um <laughs> i run back to the house i'm sprinting to the house at this point because you know god will show me numbers and stuff like that and i will look them up in like strong concordance or if he showed me a number it's for a scripture and so when I see a number that's representing urgency or whatever, I'm like, yes, sir. I'm sprinting to the house at this point. But y'all, please be aware of your surroundings and listen to God. And don't be ignoring uh, that gut feeling because that gut feeling is God speaking to you. That's your discernment. Now, you don't stop there. You go into prayer and you see what's going on. For an example, my second apartment that I had, um, I was, it was a nice neighborhood. It was not the hood. It was the suburbs. Okay. And um, they will always run out, like the, my apartment, all the parking spaces will be taken up. All the parking spaces will be taken up. And I'm like, dang, do like everybody, how they baby, are you living with them? Like, what's going on? Because it was just crazy, like, all of the parking spaces were taken up. So I will park behind my apartment building. And um, I, it was like a fourth time, like, I had that strong gut feeling three times. I ignored it. Because I was like, man, maybe I'm just psyching myself out. And I was going through a lot um, at that time. So I was just like, maybe it's just, you know, like me being in and out. So the fourth time, my stomach hurt so bad, y'all. Like, I could barely walk. And I was just like, all right, God, I know this is you because it's like, yeah. So I hurry up and get in the house, turn the worship music on, I start praying. Y'all. I get into the presence of God. I start praying. Now, y'all, a lot of y'all know I'm an intercessor. I'm a prophet. So, being that when I pray, I see visions when I pray. Tell me why. He showed me a vision of me running in the daytime because at that time, I never had time to run at night. You know, I was working at night. So, I would run in the morning, early in the morning. He showed me a vision of me running in the morning and this man that stayed in the condos behind my old apartment complex he was watching me the whole time 
this man had money he was white he had glasses with the like skinny metal frames and he had uh like brown hair i've never seen this man before so i'm like for one why are you worried about me and why are you looking like why are you watching me so i'm like okay so i'm i i see that vision as i'm praying god showed me more stuff and i'm like wow so that's why you told me to stop running because mind you before, like that same night after I had that feeling and I prayed like a week before that God told me to stop running um he was like don't run um out here no more like don't run out in this neighborhood no more I was like okay I'm gonna do it but why like this is a nice neighborhood it's the daytime what's going on I said oh well you'll tell me when you want to tell me so I would always go to the park or I would go to the beach or the trail I love running on the boardwalk at the beach so I would that would be my go-to and so y'all i'm done praying at the moment right it's late at night i look out the window my lights are off so nobody can see me looking out the window because for one i'm not like i'm looking through the little hole <laughs> through the blind so y'all tell me why that same man that i saw in my vision my vision and prayer that i never saw in person before he was outside walking past my car walking around my neighborhood i just cried all i could do was cry i talked about this on my live but i never made a video about it all i could do was cry because i'm like you be really protecting me and i felt bad because i'm like dang all this complaining i be doing and you really be protecting me and you just I'm sorry, God, and I think you all I could do was thank him, and I was just crying out of being shocked, out of just being very shocked. I was just like, I cannot believe, like, I just saw this man in my vision, and now I just, now I see him outside. Like, that's crazy. It's not crazy, it's God, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a human reaction where you're like, God really be protecting me. So, be aware of your surroundings. This also, another thing happened where when I was sleeping in my car and I was homeless. And one day I'm going to tell my whole story about me being homeless. I was sleeping in my car. Just got comfortable <laughs> sleeping in the back seat. And this comforter that my ex-boyfriend gave me, you know, I wrapped myself up in it. And then, you know, y'all. He told me to move. He said get up turn the car on and move i'm like god i just laid down i'm tired like i always sleep in this spot like um the way i parked my car it was in a bright like the light was bright just like how it's on me now and at first i was like i'm not getting up i'm going to sleep but once again that feeling i got in my stomach again i was like okay god i'm sorry for not listening so i hurry up get in the car turn the car on he tells me to back out really fast i said okay so i'm pressing it I back out real fast, y'all. Tell me why it was two men, two white men sitting um, by my car. Mind you, the car that I had at the time was a fishbowl, so it won't no tenant windows. My doors were locked, yes, and they couldn't see me in the back seat, but obviously they must have seen me move or something. I'm a cry baby, so y'all gonna hear me say I cry a lot. Y'all all i could do at that moment was cry because i'm sitting there driving away and i'm like oh my gosh like when i pulled out these two men were sitting by my car by my tires one was on each side god really be protecting us and we just be complaining <laughs> I got so many stories because when you truly walk with God and you are truly led by the Holy Spirit and you truly have a prayer life, boy, this life with him is like an adventure. Like, for real, it just be feeling like your life would just be moving like some type of time machine. Like, it's like, all right, next scene, next scene. Like, it's crazy. I just... I have so many more. <laughs> like, God told me to tell my story um, about me being homeless, so be be prepared for that because it's a lot. 